Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the Intergalactic Nowhere. We're playing some more Void Train tonight, uh, and you might have seen this on the channel before. Nate and I played it uh, a while ago now. Uh, we were playing on the Epic Game Store. The game at the time was in early access. Well, they're coming out with uh, their full release version of the game. It's supposed to be coming out on Steam now, actually. It was previously only available in the Epic Game Store. Now it's coming out on Steam, I believe, on May 9th or May 10th. Uh, not entirely clear which of the two dates it is, but uh, it's supposed to be coming out soon. They've had a whole bunch of updates to the game, including new things that you can build, new story and things in the game as well. Uh, the developers of the game were kind enough to bring uh, to provide me with a code to check out the game a little bit early. Uh, so we're going to jump in today and play it on Steam. Uh, but you'll be able to get it yourself on Steam, I believe, uh, like May 9th or May 10th. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all so much for the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. Uh, since I'm playing on Steam now, as opposed to on the Epic Store, I'm going to have to uh, start a new game. I should probably see if I can modify my character a little bit here. Uh, age 33. Now oh, we got to make him a little bit older. Let's go for like a little bit of realism. For oh man, he's got real dark eyes. This guy doesn't sleep very well. Skin tone... Why, it looks like he's got a bandit mask on or something. What's up with that? Uh, body, let's see. We've got different jackets and stuff we could put on our dude. Is there, like, something that's, like, a western jacket? I want, like, a... I want to look like a crazy cowboy or something. Eh, not really, I guess. We look like the Indiana Jones look there. <laughs> the pants, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. It's all just fog. Well, all right. Body type will make him a little bit more thin. Sort of mid-size weightish. Uh, I was sort of hoping to be able to do like hair and stuff on the. Oh wait a minute, page one of fifteen. Oh my god, the fifteen. Okay, there is stuff we can do. Oh, 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 you can make the size of his head bigger. <laughs> All right, I was like, I was, I was hoping there'd be more detail, but it actually it looks like there's lots of detail. There's fifteen pages of it. That's. Oh look at that nose. Oh my god, like a nose only a mother could love. Page three, hair type, type eleven. He's got a hat on. Let's let's go with like, oh yeah, that's that's the hair, right? Wow, he looks like a Batman villain or something. <laughs> got a, it's like his hair is sculpted out of grease. Uh, I'm gonna leave with that. Let's go with the. We'll change the ear height a little bit there. Ear width, sure, why not? Right, where's the option for the nose? He really needs to change his nose up. Oh, baby. Okay. That's better. Chin length. Yes, he's all chin. Chin protrusion. All chin all the time. Chin width. Oh, narrow. Yeah. Right, we'll be like middle of the road with the chin width. <laughs> he has Lego hair. It does look kind of like Lego hair. Jaw length. He's chewing. His gum is fantastic. Jaw width. Yeah, we'll keep him a little more narrow boned. There we go. Cheek height. Man, you gotta. I, I, there's a lot more detail I feel like in this than there used to be. Unless it, I, I mean, it's been a while since I played, and I might have like, I might have skipped over some of this possibly. Uh, brows. We're gonna change those to match. Eyebrow height. Eyebrow is side height. He's like, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> oh, wait, we can put it like really big on the inside. There we go. And now he looks more evil. Yes, perfect. Nose, per there we go. This is what I wanted. Nose. Nose length. They're quite the sniffer. Nose protrusion. Nose width. Nostril height. Where's the thing that gets rid of the crazy bump in his nose? It looks like somebody broke his nose with a hockey stick or something. I want, like, I don't know. I don't know what I want. Sure, whatever, I guess. Nose tip. Oh, there we go. Nose bridge type. There we go. This is what I want. Get rid of this. There. Now he doesn't look like somebody broke his nose so much. Nose bridge width. We can shorten that a little bit and he won't look so... There we go. Tip length. <laughs> All right. 
Eye placement depth. Jesus. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Pupillary distance. Eyes height. Man, I can't believe there's 15 pages of settings to adjust the face on this guy. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Give him, like, the bloodshot eye look. That's amazing. Sclera brightness. There we go. Iris brightness. Iris density. Wow. Eyeliner. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. Hold on. Eyeliner opacity. No. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of the shading around his eyes if I can. Eyeshadow? There it is. Get rid, of the, get rid of some of that. He's got the old old man wrinkly looked. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Lip art? Yeah, whatever. All right, good enough. I don't normally I don't normally mess around too much with character creation, but that's the guy we're gonna go with. <laughs> Jaundiced yellow. <laughs> Why does the skin look the color look the color of urine? I don't understand. Sometimes the spirit of adventure beckons so much it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into outer space. Hmm. No. Also no. Wrong again. These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is, the forest. This train was passing through impenetrable, dense forests. However, that was not a nameless journey, but a long way up here, right into the heart of the endless, snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility, silence, and minus 45 degrees outside the window. Brr. Meet the man who made off into this palace of silence, the engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months, until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel sorry for him. Although the terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. What a very weird introduction to the story now. Left button, look, look, look closely. I don't, what am I looking at? In this adventure, if the blizzard had not started at the wrong time. The chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. The last hope of salvation, a map of the terrain, treacherously slipped out of his hands. Luckily, the video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. All of a sudden, in the middle of snowy nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. That button to knock. Anybody home? This is how it all usually starts. In that strange hut, there was nothing. No people, no warmth, only darkness. Well, that's a very different introduction than we're used to. Uh, the last time we played this, it was something about, like, trying to escape Nazis or something, I thought. Uh, introduction E. Turn on the light. How do I turn on the light in here? Change the colors. Hold, uh, hold F to close. Alright. So I gotta turn on a light in here, apparently. Um, look at all this craziness. There it is. All right, they got a little marker on the board. Electrical box. Uh, it seems like the the character if art you, I'd has had an upgrade, key, or something that looks like a key. Maybe just something heavy. Something heavy. All right. Just 
game or a bedtime story? I, it's uh, it's a very different introduction than it used to have. It used to be well, like. I don't think that's going to help. Yeah. It used to be something about like hmm. escaping uh, 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 um, Nazis or something. All right. Well, I have a hammer now. Yeah, it looks really different graphically, like, uh, similar general style, but the, I don't know, the, it just looks like it's more detailed now. Oh, what do we got here? A little, <laughs> it's super dark. Let's turn the light on first here. We'll smash this open with a hammer. That, that can't possibly cause any problems. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That was great. I'm Perfect. afraid there's nothing left to fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? Yeah, smack it with a hammer. Oh, broken fuse. All right, all right. Oh, look at that. I just hap. Oh, wait. I fixed it with tape? <laughs> How's that a thing? Since when does tape fix fuses? All right. Oh, wait, go. Now it doesn't close properly. Oh, <clears throat> And so, my glorious hero, having passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. To notice something strange on the table? Oh, right. Apparently paying attention to the tutorials. Let's go do this. Oops! I didn't do it! Was somebody else... Uh, how's that working if I broke the switch? Uh oh. Uh oh. Narrator reminds you of the Stanley parable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chapter 1, Entering the Void. So a little bit of a different intro there than we saw the last time. You're finally awake. Hmm. I'm here. I'm here. Typical day on watch, huh? Last time I was running for my life. Yeah, exactly. The last time it was like there were Nazis at the door or something, and you're like, use the train to escape from them, but. This might come in handy. Very different setup now. Maybe Nazis just aren't as popular in 2023. <laughs> Moving the void. There's no gravity in the void. Jump off the train and head the desired direction. Hold F to quickly pull the train. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, we played this before. I do remember how to play. Uh, I just don't exactly remember all the stuff we have to do to unlock things. So I grabbed the diary there. Got some chemical-y stuff. We're back. All right, uh, diary stores active quests as well as collected information about the game. Open the diary, press J. Bloop. Welcome to the diary, baby. So here we got notes. Puzzles are the beginning to come together. The scientists got here when these soldiers were already here. The scientists are either already had or took something of value to these guys. I guess he's looking for a way to build a portal again, or he's searching for something else here. Something more valuable. There's a picture of a family in his notes. Is it his family? Either way, the scientist obviously knows something, and I want to ask him everything. I, I have no idea what scientists they're talking about here. Data on the scientist. Oh, we've got this fancy gibberish about this cart. Tutorial, cosmetics. we got a hammer, rails. Bracer, journal. Okay. So we have a bracer. I don't remember having that before. All right, all right. Such an inventive mind wouldn't have any trouble. Core with a super the chat. Of a simple trolley. I think that's the intro for Steam because it's also the demo intro, and the intro to Epic Games is still uh, run for the Germans. Ah, okay, okay. I guess that makes sense. So I, there's a big update that's coming with this release. Um, so I guess it's not 
not necessarily surprising that uh, you know things are different here. I don't remember how much reach I have. I don't have that much reach. Bring me back in, baby. Oh crap. There we go. We'll get this stuff. All the goods. It's been a hot minute. We got uh, a lot of things we gotta gather again, because Nate and I gathered a whole bunch of things and unlocked a bunch of stuff, but I'm curious to see whether the pacing of the game is a little different than it was before. All right. No more breaks. Back this sucker up. We'll get the things that are back here. Well, pretty much. Nordic runes? They do kind of look like that, don't they? Lever. Yeah, I'll get to the other level in a minute. So hold on. Break time. Wood acquired. These cardboard boxes here. I guess these are the ones that got sucked into the room with us. Or from the room with us, rather. That's fine. Forward ho! All right now. Just slowly. Uh, speed up the trolley. Press E during the minigame. Hitting the bonus areas will give you more acceleration energy. Accumulated energy spent over time. I don't really care about that. Ooh, what is that gelatinous thing out there? Are you a critter? Some sort of... Ow! Ow! Alright. Never mind. Those things are not... They don't seem to be friendly. It's like some sort of critter, or some sort of weird plant life or something. Oh, crap. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. Oh, I've got to accelerate the trolley to do the tutorial. Alright. That's a useful book you've picked up. Is the author some kind of scientist or inventor? I hope he's not too upset that we stole his train. He's definitely That's something. Awkward. We didn't steal his train, we borrowed it. Without permission. On a semi-permanent basis. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they launched me back onto the... I mean, I can't get back on my trolley here. There we go. Hold on a second, hit the brakes. Let's check the journal business here. Mm, hope the inventory is approved. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, let's see. What do we got? What do we got here inventory-wise? Uh, so I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve spots in my inventory. It looks like it's expandable. There's a backpack we can get. Suit two slots for equipped items, I guess. Not sure what the deal is. It looks like we actually have ammo now versus uh, unlimited ammo that we had before. Unless that's uh, only certain only certain weapons maybe have it. Inventory was always a very big challenge in this game, and the storage boxes you could build were tiny. They hold very, very little. So hopefully that's improved. Satiety. Uh, affects the extent to which your health can be automatically restored outside of combat. Satiety is gradually depleted and can be restored by consuming organics, ice, or cooked food from the kitchen. So I think it used to be you had to have both uh, hydration and food before, if I'm not mistaken. It's not improved. <laughs> the inventory is the same size, huh? That's a shame. No, let's get rid of this. Okay, we got ice. Ow! So it used to be you'd find dirty ice, and then, uh... Then you could make it into, like, clean drinking water or something. What's going on here? There we go. Forward ho! Give me more of them loots. The two loots. What the heck is a loot? Ugh. That was a tough landing. Ah, the peaceful existence of the inner void of nothingness. Oh wait, it's uh, is it T to get into the building stuff here? T. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have in here the research table, which I'm gonna have to build first, obviously, because uh, I can't build anything else without it. So that's the thing. 
Um, rotate is R. I guess we'll stick the we'll stick the research table back here. Why not? Hooray! Okay, and then in the research table we can select blueprints. I want to build not enough resources for a storage container. I guess we got to make the smelter first. All right, so that research is that, and then I've got to get. What am I listing here? I've got to get the. I got to make an ingot before we can research the storage box. That sucks. Make sure we get more metal and things. I don't remember what it, which which thing it was that we had. We tended to be like the lowest on supply wise, whether it was wood or metal. But I know we need a lot of it. Is this Ripnautica with trains? It kind of. You're stuck on a on a rail, obviously, and you're going through like this intergalactic space. And there are these enemies here, both in the form of monsters as well as bad people with guns. Uh, I didn't really play super deep into the game when I was playing it on uh, the Epic Game Store. I played it a few times with Nate, but we only got so so far into it. So I never got to like the underlying story behind it all. I feel like the graphics are nicer than they were, though. I mean, not that it was a bad-looking game, but... I don't know, they just feel more crisp. Oop. Something blew up. Get me back up to the train! Yeah, we're in limbo. And not the good kind of limbo, either. Alright, we need a smelter, so let's, uh... Let's whip one of these out of here. Let's stick it up front, I guess. I don't know where else to put it right now. We've got limited space after all. Great. Uh... Coal briquette? Coal chunks? Sturdy. Hold on a second here. The brakes. Oh, that's the fuel. Okay, so for fuel, I've got. Uh... <laughs> all I have is wood. So I guess we're putting wood in there. Wait, I didn't put it in there. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna smelt uh, iron bars. Like three of them, I guess. No, shoot, no, nope. hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay, three iron, three iron bars smelt the fire. Get more stuff. Need lots of wood for building and such. It resembles a black hole up in the sky, or like uh, uh, like a solar eclipse or something. Seems very eclipsy. Uh, these uh, these little exploding plant things were definitely not a thing before. Those are certainly new. Not entirely sure I'm uh, thrilled with those. All right, research complete. So now I can build storage box. Uh, boop, let's do that. It's a shame that they didn't make the storage boxes hold more. That, apparently, let's find out. Oh yeah, they're still tiny. Wow. All right, well, how do I transfer all of it at once? There, yeah, shift clicking does it. I'll keep the wood and uh, the wood and stone on me, or wood and metal on me for right now, I guess. Is this Uranus? Darn right it is. Isn't it brilliant? That's how it looks when you clean it properly. It, it shines in the night. <laughs> if yours isn't shining, you didn't do it right. Not saying, just saying. Floaty harpoon train? Yeah. Oh. Ow! I don't. Those things don't seem to hurt me, so they might actually be useful for giving me a boost to go places. Like if I just pop down here, I can go. Woo! They've got like a... that swirly effect out in front of them is actually a pushing mechanism. 
So aside from the ones that explode, things will work all right. It's something very radioactive. <laughs> All right, well, let's go research. So we've got uh, workbench two, blah blah blah, basic components. Let's get the. Uh, I'm gonna need more smeltifying stuff here. I don't know if I have fuel in there for that, bullsey. We'll Lots of chemicals and such. Yeah, this is like an indigestion fever dream, basically. This isn't really happening. <laughs> yeah, those explosions really send you far. And yeah, welcome to Void Train. If you haven't seen this before, it's a train in the void. Good times. Oh, I got my stuff there. So now we can research this thing. We'll get a research level table level two. Hopefully it just upgrades when I have as opposed to having to build a new one. Uh, let's go with this. Is this Wrap 3D? <laughs> well, this is Void Train. If you haven't seen it before, it's been out uh, been on the Epic Games Store for the last year. Uh, looks like they made some significant changes to the game in terms of story and such, but the general idea is that you're on this train traveling through this weird intergalactic void. And yeah, kind of like Raft, you're like gathering the resources you need to, uh, to build and research and survive. But there are like enemies in this game. There's like these evil soldier dudes as well as some big monster guys. That you gotta contend with. Not really sure of the context of all that, but there it is. Can I please earn a like while by dying? <laughs> I'm sure I will at some point. Don't worry, Ashley, it'll come. Uh, I need to make a copper bar. Do do make one of those. How else do I learn like from you? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, there's not really any other way. That's this is the way. All right, copper bar. We can research this thing now. Not sure if I can get this. It might be too far away. Oh, so close. Dang it. Back it up a little bit. I need that metal. This game triggers a need to collect all the things so hard. Yeah, I believe you. I couldn't see why. Uh, for sure. For really reals. What else we got now? Uh, lab one. That's going to require making up some other things. So I'm going to need to build a crafting table first. Which is workbench one. I need uh, I need some more smelted, smelted fired metal metals. I don't have enough. Ain't got enough, man. In every gameplay video, Fox dies in every one of the games. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. If you can die in a game, I'm going to do it. It's it's all part of the gaming experience, really. If I haven't died in a game, I feel like I haven't played the game. It's like that expression, if you haven't failed, if you haven't ever failed, you just aren't taking enough risks. Not a mean burn. Alright, let's get some wood. Giggity. There we go. That was a world.
If you're just that good. You don't have to shoot at the group of flyers, uh, things you can just you know wrap and press E on them. Oh, really? Because I don't have, uh... Oh! Well, that's handy, because I don't have a gun yet. That's good enough. Oh, look at all the wood over here. Yes, please. All the woods and all the metals. Whoa, jeez. Really burst. Come here, little goods. I need to steal your body fat or whatever it is I take from you. Oh. I feel a little weird killing them this way with my bare hands. Not weird enough to stop doing it, but you know, like a little weird. Okay, I need one of these fancy workbench type things. Uh, space is getting to be a bit of a premium here already. Okay, so the next research item is going to take one of the copper wires and a spring type thing, my jobber. Oh, I don't have enough resources yet. You gonna play this with Nate? Uh, I don't know, we haven't really talked about it. Um, when we played it before, I th we had kind of found that the pace of the game was maybe a little bit slower than we would like. Uh, maybe in part because when you're playing multiplayer, you have to share resources with the other person in order to craft all the things. I mean, the 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 base building stuff is fine because you're you know you're sharing all the stuff, but I don't know. We haven't really talked about it. I just had the uh, the developer reach out and, and give me uh, access to play the game a little bit ahead of time. I was like, all right, yeah, whatever, I can do that. I need uh, I need to make more of the things. Gonna take more of the metals. Anyway, I decided to play this today on kind of a whim because I had the code to get it a little early. Not like I don't already have like a dozen games underway that I gotta keep up with. <laughs> What's one more? Oh, the heat soon too, I guess. All right, what's it take to eat this stuff? Plus 5% food if I eat it. Uh, I guess I just use it? Yeah, that kind of works. Couple organics too while we're at it. Ooh, we're already coming up to the first portal here. Oh wait, I missed the thing back there. Back it up! Back it up, I need metal! Oh shoot. Still hasn't finished Coder, he's so busy. What's Coder? If you're thinking Knights of the Old Republic, I'm not playing Knights of the Old Republic. I mean, I have Dead Island 2 that I want to play some more of. Uh, I definitely want to play some more of uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Oh, I know I need more room. We can't we can't expand on the size of our train thing yet. We gotta go to the first platform to do that. Or maybe the second platform. It's definitely a platform anyway, we gotta, we gotta go to before we can do that. Uh, okay, so I've got the copper wire. Let's make another one of these things. Two of them, actually. Get that underway. Oop! On the wrong direction here. Better. That's betterest. Chat can hold all my items. Sweet! Thanks, chat. You are scholars and gentle people. Uh, spring is what I need. A spring, a spring, a wonderful thing!
Everyone knows it's slinky. Alright, that's done, which means that now in here I could research this thing of a jazz. I love how when you get closer to the gates, the music gets very dramatic. Got how tiny containers are. Oh, yeah, they're so small. So small. They hold like four things. Unfortunately, you can stack them up to like 10 in there, but still, it, it really does limit your ability to, to have things. Give me this. Metal is going to be an ongoing concern for sure. This game's awesome. Hey, I like this game. It's kind of a chill game. It uh, it takes a while to make progress in it. I found, but conceptually, it's neat. Okay, so uh, I need to make chemical components which I have to make on the lab table first so the lab table requires what right let's bring so I need uh, another car another iron bar iron bar and a copper bar copper brass whatever it is it's one of them one of them kinds of things I need my chemicals. I don't have enough chemicals. I got I got them in here though. So we'll whip that up while we're making a spring over here, because I need a spring. Here's the thing. What was only three socks? The the chests? Did they did they increase them by one? Or are you thinking or am I thinking something else here? They still seem small, though, you know, whatever the deal is. So the chest only had three slots in them before? Confess I don't remember that. I thought it was four. It's been a hot minute since I played, though. So not really surprising that I don't entirely remember correctly, I guess. I had three half slots. <laughs> Spox have the pew pew yet? No, no, we're uh, we're just coming up to the first uh, the first station here, and I think it's the first station where you get the get the pew pews. Okay, I can now build the lab. Let's we'll stick that over here, I guess. And with the lab, I can make myself. Well, I'm gonna put fuel in there first, I guess. Uh, I can make some of this stuff. I don't remember how many I needed. Was it one or two? Two. Ask him in the super chat. How are you planning to feed me? Starve, shot, or what? I'm, I'm thinking probably getting shot would be the highest probability. I have uh, I have organics in here, so I can I can eat those. I'm not gonna go. I could go the way of the dodo too quickly, I don't think. Yeah, I just ate a stack of those and I got most of my uh most of my food situation back. Okay, so this now I can go in here and unlock components. Give me more wood. Wood? New quest, storage. Press J for details. I already made a storage, though. Research and build a container rack one. Okay. So not the storage I thought it was. Container rack one requires those little bolt things, uh, which I think I could make in here. There we go. I'm run out of time here. Hit the brakes. 
Not ready to go through the door yet. Okay, and with that I can then research. No, I need to, need to make another ingot. Space shark get you? <laughs> Good old space sharks. <laughs> Bar said, I'll stop the world and smelt with you. Demand a tether malfunction. The tether malfunctions, I think, really only happen in multiplayer, where it loses track of the tether that you have on your ship. I don't think you get. Uh, I'm, okay. Keep using up all the resources. Let's, let's go this way. All right, we're researching the, the the storage rack. How do I use the hammer again? Oh, figured out how to punch. <laughs> yeah, Baba Zeba. How do I? How do I bust out the hammer? This thing requires basic components and metal. Can I make basic components in here? No. Where, where are the basic components made? Over here. So I gotta make uh, one of these things. Space Bruce. Old T. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, okay, so, relocate G. Fortunately, I can move it while it's full, so that's handy. Let's take it over here for the moment. Exit. Crafting book. Okay. Storage rack requires bolts, bars, other such things. Hey, Grand Fox, is music always like that? Uh, well, I stopped pretty close to the door. As you get close to the door, the music gets more suspenseful. So, yeah, it's it's kind of aggressive right now because of where I stopped. Sorry about that. We'll, uh, we'll continue on through so we can get past that really aggressive sounding music. Uh, I need to put more wood in here. Make some of this stuff. Got my bar here now. With this, I can make the bolts. Welcome to Weird Portal number one. It's really dark. I don't like it. Away we go! All right, we're here. New of stop. I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare, but where is everybody? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, let's relocate this thing. We'll stick it over here on the rack. Very nice. Very nice. That away and go exploring. Nope, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. So this is one of the smaller stations. We, we can't actually do any upgrades and such here. But later on we'll be able to use the, uh, the little island stops as a way to expand the size of our little glorious little train. Take all that, thank you very much. Is there a flashlight in here? I can't remember how to turn that on if there is. 
Hold on a second. I want to see keyboard. Jump, crouch, fire, aim, reload, weapons, interact, switch fire mode, inventory, consumables, heavy items. I thought we had a flashlight, but I guess I don't. All right. No flashlight for me. I'm gonna muck around in the dark, I guess. That's unlootable here either. Take that though. We got some wood. Family friendly wood. We find a lighter later? Oh yeah, alright. That's a little bit in here. Is it clear over to the other side? Oh. <laughs> can I make that jump? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah, it looks like I can. All right. Bonsai! Oh, I get under. Okay, I can definitely make it because I get zero G as soon as I jump off the side. I forgot about that. Anything underneath here? Nothing. We ain't found nothing. So how do I get up there? Ooh. No, I thought I could climb on stuff, but I guess not. I gotta do a little, uh, a little parkour. Over to here, over to here, back to here. Grab some booze. Oh, they won't let me take the bottle? What about that? Yeah, I got burned. Poor thing. Well, the goddesses of time and fate can't weave a long life path for everyone. Well, at least he won't be needing the revolver anymore. No, but I can use it. Give me the gun. Yeah, baby. I am power. Who do you think this skeleton was? So many diagrams on the table. He's probably some kind of designer. Well, used to be. Yeah, really long time ago. This guy's been dead for a while, man. Uh, weak secondary weapon with an infinite supply of power and ammo. Shooting, targeting, reloading, equipping, yada yada yada. Is there a safe? There is a safe there, but I don't think we can actually open it. It's very bright. <laughs> open the safe! These are not very destructible. All right, can't go in there. I can go the blast my way through this though. Probably gonna punch it. Yeah, punching it works. If it an ammo for that gun and no friendly fire. Well, I, I I can't shoot myself anyway, so I think we're okay on the friendly fire front. Chemicals, eh? Oh, can't climb over that. Trying to see if I could climb over, but I don't think I can. 
Alright, I guess based on the marking, we gotta double back. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't actually go forward here anywhere. Though I'd like to get to that upper level somehow. Explore around up there. Ugh. Oh, I missed something. That's why it's sending me back here. <laughs> I guess that's an important thing to grab. New note added. Uh, stop. Travelers should not neglect making stops. It's a good opportunity to catch your breath and have a look around. Sneak in, take the revolver, get the blueprints. <laughs> now it will let me hmm. do other things? He left the combination of the safe right out in the open. Oh. That was a great idea. But don't ever do the same thing, okay? Now I can open the safe. Oh, there we go. I got an idea. We're gonna need those parts soon. Do you think? Okay, now we go this way. I jumped the gun a little bit. Now about my brilliant idea and oh. the details. The console on the platform looks suspiciously similar to the device in the blueprints. Gotta find a way to die. There in the train upgrade paragraph. What the? Okay, I think there was. All right. I guess I ran right by it and I'm really looking at it. Upgrade the platform in your train locomotive using the building console of the depot. Each subsequent improvement improvement requires more resources. Interact. There's my little dude. So we can add wagon, we can upgrade the wagon. Oh, I don't have the parts to upgrade the wagon right now. Uh, what happens if I upgrade the wagon? An engineer. The right. Truly an engineer. Truly an engineer. Build module. Okay, I don't need the modules. I don't care about those. Okay, so with that, we can then go here and build floor pieces on here. Just like that, we got more room. Sweet. Please the train for the bridge breaks to leave the depot. Warning this action is irreversible. All items left in the depot will be destroyedified. Also destroyedicated. Okay, get over there. It's too far. All right, what else can I build while I'm here? I could, I could build another storage rack, I guess. Oh, actually, more chests would be good. Let's do a second chest. Gotta get bars and wood. Just like silver and gold. Silver and gold. Oh, I thought I had wood in there. Oh, crap. Well, might as well move on. I can't, can't do what I need to anyway. Cryptic, assigned Lupo's Jadulary. Oh, I saw you, Prime, but when I tried to at you, it wasn't letting me. It was just, uh, like, blanking it out or something. Welcome, Pry. Yeah, I saw he was playing, uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Survivor, so I popped in. I got there just in time for him to find that, uh, little hidden area with the, uh, the spicy draw me like one of your French girls scenes. <laughs> Perfect timing, really. Need metal and wood, baby. Metal and wood. Boop. Didn't realize my floor wasn't even finished there. All right, it is now. Victory is mine. And also possibly somebody else's. Dang YouTube chance, that was such a great Easter egg. That was actually really cool. I have to go find that myself now. I'm gonna get a screenshot of that. Oh crap. That was less than a deal. I'm 
Drawing someone like one of your French girls only heard of that part if you were talking about a past thing we'd all rather do. <laughs> no, it's uh it's a scene it's a an area you can get to in uh, Star Wars uh Jedi Survivor. Where it's got one of those big hairy Wookiee kind of guys. Not actually a Wookiee, but I forget what they're called. Anyway. It's laying reclined on this rock, like the the scene from Titanic, and uh, there's a little droid standing around with painting easels that are like drawing pictures of him. <laughs> Pretty funny. I have to go find it because it's uh, it was definitely good for a chuckle. Ah, crap. Back up there. No, not an Ewok. Like, the guy that... The, the monster that that, in that, um, that kept grabbing me by the feet and slamming me on the ground. One of those things. <laughs> it's one of those things sitting there. It's, it's pretty great. Okay, I know I made that grease for some reason. I don't remember what I made it for. It must have been something in the research bench. Oh, yeah, this thing. Okay, I need to make, uh... More of these. Five of them. All right. <laughs> Guess we're making five. But say chat would enjoy seeing it also. Yeah, it was... Clever or it, it really was pretty funny. call it dangerous either. They just won't do any damage, but they will slow down the train. Uh, shoot the creatures in time. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> and with my incredibly accurate aim, as always. Definitely no potato aim here, folks. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, let's put that in there. I've got leather. We'll stick that in there, I guess. I need to eat some stuff here. Use, use. I'm sure, that leather will come in handy. Alright, that's done. I gotta research that business. Kinda wanna build another storage rack. All I need for that is a bolt. Oops. Hang it. We get all the storages so we can get lots of room. Kitchen! There we go. I need copper wire. I need bolts. I need gears. I need such and stuff. Let's go ahead and make, uh... You know, I'll make like two of these, I guess. Take that sucker. We'll drop that right in here. I gotta get more wood. There we go. Wood. <clears throat> Good times. Is this on Steam yet, or is it still only available on Epic? Actually, I'm playing it today because it's coming out on Steam uh, a little bit later this month. So, like, May 9th or May 10th, it'll be out on Steam. Uh, I am playing the Steam version of it right now. The developer of the game was uh, kind enough to provide me with the code to check it out a bit early. It does have changes from what, uh, what was playable on the Epic Game Store. Bit of a different story. Uh, I think there's supposed to be some more craftables and stuff in it that uh, weren't in the uh, Epic Store version. I'm sure it's still like when they when they update it, it'll be in the Epic Store one too. I would imagine, but um, with this uh, with the move to Steam, they're uh, they're putting out a big update, basically. 
Oh, I hit that guy. I guess not. Give me all the goods. Hey! I think that thing's actually been there a while, and I was supposed to get rid of it earlier, and I was kind of not paying attention. Because <laughs> it did say something about leeches before, and then I didn't do what I was supposed to. Uh, okay. Storage box. Slap that on there. I can go in there, I guess. Game reminds you of Raft. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's very similar to Raft in a, in a lot of ways. Uh, obviously, the story setting's a little different, and there's like some of the like transitioning from one zone to another is different, but. The, the premise of being tethered to a tethered to a craft that's moving along where you gotta like reach out to the resources around you and gather them up to make things and expand same idea really the same basic premise in that way Okay, what now? Uh, Alright, I need uh, bolts. Uh, I need copper wire. I can make the copper wire in here. Bloop. Read that. I need to make some more of these smelted metal bars. Oh. I need more metal, I guess. Box of Dines game, he's done it before. Yeah, so I can die in this game, absolutely. It's uh, it's just a question of... It, it, the, um... There are enemies at some of the intergalactic stops, and those guys can shoot you. You can't fall to your death or anything. Um, there's also, uh... Also, like these uh, weird space shark things flying around in some places, um, they can hurt you and potentially kill you also. But you just kind of respawn back at your little train anyway. It's not that big of a negative. Is there a story to the game like there is in Raft? Um, I mean, sort of, yeah. I, I don't really know how they're fleshing it out, though. They had this really weird introduction now where you're, it's like just some generic stuff about about engineers and being an engineer and like there's not really an explanation for why you're on this thing aside from you found this invention that somebody made that you took for a joy rod basically so i'm not sure what the uh the context is there entirely uh okay so i need the bolts and the gear make one of those more wood or wood yes well that's in progress we'll uh, get the train going here too find some more resources to collect backstory you tell your family you're headed over milk and yeah wait a minute that's uh that's the graveyard keeper backstory <laughs> I was going to the coder store for milk when suddenly I got smacked by a crazy driver wouldn't take a strange galactic invention for a joyride right exactly so it, it seemed like so we we found this building we turned on some switches we probably shouldn't have turned on and then we broke one of them and this portal opened up and it kind of sucked us in so i guess we didn't exactly choose to go for a joyride we were just kind of being nosy and it cost us i guess is the the more accurate way of putting it uh, I need some of these. Can't shoot those things. Make sure I keep getting organics. I'm gonna have to keep feeding my face hole.
we get this cook station ready, then I can actually make some food that will give us a, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more nourishment than the, just eating these things regularly. Okay, there we go. So now we can research this thing. But that also means I'm going to need all those parts to craft it, so that's going to be a problem. I <clears throat> need to starve to feed Ashley. Oh, is that how this is going to go down? It's going to be like that, is it? Flip up a couple of those. A little of this, a little of that. Six scrap metal on me, huh? Somewhere I put the there it is. Separate one of those. Okay, so now with that I can research um, blueprint sterilizer. Those times when you just really want to be sterile. Oh, I gotta make one first. Um, Oh, let us see. Sterilizer. Oh, perfect. We're good. Fox needs water in a bathroom. <laughs> yeah. No bathrooms available in this game. You just gotta pee off into the void. I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. There's nothing really down there for your pee to land on anyway. All right, so let me research bandages. So this cook station here, the kitchen. I need, uh, yeah, I need a couple more bars. Do we have enough? Do we have any more copper left? No, consumables or components. Okay, so this is where I make the bandages now. Interesting. Put that going. A couple more of these going. our train moving here. Mow it out! If he lands back on you, <laughs> that'd be really unfortunate. I'd be like, oh, so that's what's down there. I am. Awkward. Very awkward. I okay, hope this hope this train comes with a uh, with a rain hat or something. Oh, it was a little noisy. Go, go, go! Get the metal! Now oh, the music's picking up again, so that... God dang. I swear to God, the train sped up. What happened there? The other. See it too? Oh boy. Or am I hallucinating already? We got friends. We got company. Oh crap. Oh, I stopped, but so did they. That's interesting. I think the odds are they're going to be interested in shooting me. I'll have to look closely. They see us. Hey! They must be able to see me, right? Well, whatever. Yeah, because that's not weird. I want to back this thing up. There was stuff back there I wanted. Stupid thing took off on me. Back it up! Other train locks missiles. Yeah, right? <laughs> Not suspenseful at all when the random music suddenly kicks in while you're out floating around in some weird void. I definitely don't remember that happening before. Ooh. 
with a drop. Okay. Can I make my kitchen thing yet? Where is it? No. I'm gonna make, uh... Gonna make some of these here... Bolts. And a gear. Got the baddies hook your train and board you. Oh, yeah? That's fun times. I mean, I'm pretty early on in the game still, so they're not really, uh, they're not really aggressive baddies just yet. Instead, they're just more showing their presence, I guess. Flip up some of them things. This might not be out of reach. Ah, it's out of reach. All that good stuff right there, and I can't get to it. Inter interdimensional pirates? Well, they were like, in the game before, they were like interdimensional Nazis. So I don't, I don't know what they are now. <sighs> can't reach that stuff. Whatever they were, they're uh, they're definitely not friendly though. That's that's for certain. They'll probably be waiting for me at the next stop, actually. If I had to guess. All right. Uh, get my gear. Now I can build my, my cooking station. AKA a kitchen. Grilled organics or water flask? I guess it doesn't really matter anymore because they, uh, they've made the hydration and the food into just one thing, just like a nourishment bar or whatever. Maybe they'll be friendly at the next stop. Oh yeah, absolutely. They'll, they'll be very friendly about showing me their guns. Like, hey, do you want to see my gun? Look how it fires bullets. Blam, blam. Check out this gun. You could be on the receiving end. Like, oh, man, that gun is sweet. More good stuff. Okay, so that got me these grilled organics. They give me 10% food, so basically it doubles up the, uh... Doubles up the amount of food it provides you, so that's pretty good. All things considered. It's not exactly a fancy recipe, but at least cooking it gives me more nourishment. Never know unless you try to hug them. <laughs> yeah. I'll get right on that, Pry. <laughs> I'll be like, sure. I was like, you guys just need a hug. That's why you're so upset. Hug me, evil villain dudes! Hug me! What are the people on the next track see your character flailing everywhere? Probably. Trying to swim through space. And we're swimming, we're swimming. What have I got to research now? Ooh, gardens! So maybe I don't really want to know how your garden grows. I guess I actually kind of do want to know, though, because I want to grow a garden. Give me the food back. Oh, big chunks of ice. Oh, I can actually shoot it. Oh, where did I get out of that? Oh, looks like I got a couple resources out of that. Okay, that's cool. Gotta blow up more of those things. Oh, oh god. Back it up, back it up.
That's some wooden metal back here we need. Is that another track next to you? Yeah, this track over here was where the enemy train was. I can't cross over to it, it's too far away, and my train obviously can't go there because I'm stuck on a track, but... But that's where we saw an enemy train. There's other points in the game where the, the track actually comes really close to you, and the enemies, I guess, can, like, grapple your train and then board it to attack you. You know, which is always fun in games. Okay, uh, oh, I got the bolts there. Let's make our little garden plot jobby. Research it, I guess. Oh, I'm not gonna reach this one in time, I don't think. Ah, I got it, nice. What happens if you have a resource chunk on your train, they steal it. Oh, really? Those jerks. Wait, you can get resource chunks on your train? Alright, that's news to me. Like I said, I only played so far into the game before, so we didn't uh, didn't necessarily build anything really crazy. AKA the treasure. They're all like gift to me the treasure. That's not the direction I want to go. I've been in the habit of sprinting everywhere. That's when my arms are flailing. <laughs> I guess if I don't sprint, then it doesn't look as quite as uh, quite as frantic. The moving around. You can run over by your own train? No, even the track like fades out when you uh, go in front of it. Just like fade through it, I guess. No, get run over by your own train, I'm afraid. I swear I heard something that sounded like a whale. Alright, so storage is for oh this is all my links. Uh so here's our garden box. I need uh I need two of the bolts. I don't even know what we can grow in the garden box, but I guess we're gonna find out. Uh I need some organics, which I don't have because I roasted them all. Silly me. Silly cryptic organics are for kids. I gotta, get, gotta get my hands on two organics where I can't uh, can't make myself a little garden plot. No seeds yet? Uh, I guess not. I might be trying to grow a garden plot for or build a garden plot rather for no reason. <laughs> I don't have any seeds, I don't think. So that would be a thing. Probably a consideration at the very least. Look at that stuff. I don't have to water the crops once I plant them too. It sounds like there's something very big out here. Oh. Uh, I guess this ran out of fuel.
Alright, we'll I'll build the garden plot anyway, so at least it's ready for when I... Oh, these are tiny. Go, go, go! No watering necessary. You only get seeds from slot machines and stations. Oh, okay, okay. More flaw the same, of course. Oh, looks like we're coming up to the next gate. Woo! That's a good launch. Ow. Smacked my head on my own train, man. Those ice chunks have good stuff in them. Yeah, the plants on the rocks are new. So some of them have uh, this, where it's got the little blue spiral thing coming up, you can use it to push yourself forward. Uh, there's other ones that just explode and it just launches you based on, you know, whichever angle it is to you when it goes off. Now, doesn't seem to do any damage, but uh, it gives you a nice little push or whatever. What do we got? So, armory. Uh, powder, all right. Ammo box. Armory would be handy. Let's say I need a spring and I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna have to make some copper here, I guess. Um, I'll make like two of these, I guess. Need, uh, need more smelted metals. You smelted it, you deltered it. Oh, God, that was the wrong way. What, if you shoot them? What, the bad guys or the plants? Shooting the plants didn't seem to do anything when I tried it earlier. Shooting the bad guys works, though. I love that you can also shoot your handles to make them, like, stop or go. <laughs> So you don't always have to return all the way back to the all the way back to the train to do stuff. You know, for those basic things. Alright. Um okay, so I got my copper. Smelt up more metal. Not enough space! Oh, I gotta unload. Uh, let's see. Wow, I got a lot of metal on me, actually. I have pluv. I'm gonna cook up more water. Give me more! Alright, copper wire, wood, and spring. I set one of these things to crafting, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> I 
Personal favorite's the fart mist. What's this about fart mist? Did I just catch something at a very wrong time? Feels like I might have. <laughs> okay, that lets me... Oh, I thought I made the copper wire. What's going on here? What's going on around here? Maybe I didn't click the uh, little hammer thing to make it go. Ooh, man, allergies are acting up. I think I forgot to take my antihistamine today. That's no bueno. It's muy no bueno. What do you call a fox with no bead and no bead fox? Confused? Okay. Take your word for it. Feel like something's lost in translation there? Oh, here comes the latest gate. Music changed. Wink. Is that little thing the station? Yeah, so it's a door to the to the next one. It's like a portal that you go through that will take you to the station. And we're almost there. I saw another one here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, I missed the... I thought I'd already stopped it. Let her rip! God, this, don't let them bully you. I have, all I've got is this crappy gun. Wait a minute. Uh, so in the lab, I can make... Uh, green, I need to use... I can make resin in here. There's something I needed. There's our armory researching. Powder! I need uh, one of these chemically things. Give me what I need! Yeah, it's like a beacon above the door, just like glowing. Nothing fantabulous. Uh, I have to make one of the powders. What does that take? Oh, that's easy enough. Oni is life. Oni is a good game. Oni is very good. What? Did it intro? Oh no, it, it finished making it. We're fine. Oh wait, uh, powder. Give me the powder. What are one of the improvements they made? I don't know. Still uh, to be determined, I guess. Apparently there's like additional things you can craft and such. Um, some new items and things you can make. I didn't get like a complete list or anything. Okay, I can make uh, armor plate. Let's do that so that I maybe don't die. That would be great. Leather suit, unlocks the leather suit. So I need two leather and two bolts. Max satiety. Uh, if I cook one more of those organics, I can take care of that. So take to make this fancy armor plate. Oh wait, I gotta build the armory thing, don't I? Ah, crud. Okay. Uh, armory one. I need two springs and two of the copper wires. That's problematic. 
Not the great one there. Look it up. <clears throat> no, the arenas are now only five waves now. I don't think I ever actually got to one of those arena things you're talking about. I don't think so, anyway. I don't recall doing any kind of like waves of enemies. The only ones I remember fighting are like when you when you show up at the station and you fight stuff. Not a mean burn. Okay, uh, I need two of the copper. Uh, this, of course, made out of fuel. Have I got wood here somewhere? I need that leather. I have plenty of metal, but not a lot of wood right now. Uh, I guess I could be burning animal fat, too, for fuel, if I had to. Do you have any Omni? I don't think I do. I don't know if it burns longer or shorter, but we'll try it. Need to find some coal. Coal? Yeah, I mean, we're still pretty early in the game. Coal is beyond me at the moment. I wonder if later on I'll be able to make something like charcoal or something. Uh, okay, I can make the armory bench now. That didn't work. What happened there? I was going to put it in the middle, but it's actually really in the way. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Does this only... I thought I could create bullets. Barrel, mag, frame, grip, stock, sight. Okay, so... I thought the armory was going to be useful for making that armor plate I researched, but where do I make that if I can't make it there? Ah, there it is. All right. So I need another another ingot of the irons. Research the food. Boost up our max satiety a little bit. Consumables, make an armor plate. This leather thing I need two bolts for. Plus one armor plate. Okay, where does that go now? Do I just... Slot two, backpack. Where does the armor plate go? I guess they just use it? Our plate will help you survive in battle. That's great. Maybe it just like hangs out of my inventory because I, I don't seem to be able to equip it. it. Gives me E to use, but I can't use it. Oh wait, Q. Oh. Okay, I already got it. I guess I just have to have it in my backpack. That's fine. Let's go through. See what happens when I get shot at and such. Sure, this will be fun. There's two more of those uh, iron bars here. Going in, baby. Need to wear the leather suit first? It uh, doesn't seem like I need to. This is probably part of it, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't stop it now. We're already in. Dang it. We're on... Uh, we're going to unlock the leather suit, but I just... Uh, oh, smelter. Fuel. Can't expect a warm welcome. That's a shame. 
Yes, you can. Expect a warm welcome all the time. Okay, so there's definitely... Definitely combatants here if you told me you can't get a warm welcome. See what's in the buildings, I guess. It was ammo and stuff for guns that I don't have just yet. Not enough space. Inventory full. Alright. I guess I'm loaded up on ammo already. Kind of crazy how much ammo they give you for the guns you don't have. Graminal, two chemicals, three wood, two chemicals. Yeah, I don't want to do that. The door doesn't open. Here's our fancy slot machine. So you get coins from killing the dudes, and then you can spend them in the slot machine to get stuff, I guess. If it still works the same way as it did before, anyway. Uh, builder box. Will not be saved if you leave the default unit now. I don't even know why they give you a builder box. When I built the the uh, extension on the the train, it uh, I just used them for my inventory. I didn't have to slop them in there. James, the six month member message receiving hot lead is a warm welcome. Absolutely, nothing says welcome like a forty four to the face. I heard they get points for killing you. Can we find out if this is true? <laughs> yeah. Like, ooh, look, I scored points. How much inventory room I got here? Oh, a little bit. A little bit of room, a little bit of room. Uh, let's eat these things so that I've got... That space and full longer bar. This is a very different layout to these like island map things than they used to be. Never saw anything like this before. Oh god. Darn guy shot me! I think that guy died. Hope he did. Come on, man. Oh, I got this cheap revolver. Don't mess with me, dudes. Uh. They keep running over to the same area where I killed all the other guys before. <laughs> like, look, we're sitting on a pile of corpses. I'm sure it's fine. Hmm. What's that sound? Is there someone else in here? Uh, I don't know. Why are you asking me? Oh, look at all the bodies I piled up here. <laughs> Get out of the way. I can't see what the tokens are. Look at these dudes. How rude. I 
That could have gone much worse. Organics what now? Ah, I'm a fave streamer, eh, Dark Paladin? They're not gonna give me a boss fight with this revolver, are they? I don't even know if boss fights are a thing, actually. Some of them are hugging the ground. They're just very appreciative to be back on the island after rolling through the weird void space on their train. They hug just bullets. Exactly. Exactly. I forget what this is for. Do not remember what these animals do. It's some sort of a crafting thing, right? I have no recollections. Oh, we found a radio. <laughs> that is one weird clock right there. It's an altar where you pray for better weapons. <laughs> yeah. Fixed it. Everybody here. They think we're connected to someone. Not a mm. sub nerve. Got here on a scientist trolley through his portal, <laughs> using his notes. <laughs> we're following his trail. Maybe that's who they're talking about. APB on Fox. Look, it's teeth instead of jaws. <laughs> Classic. Alright, so someone doesn't like us very much. I don't really approve of this. How dare they open fire to kill? I mean, they already they were already trying, I guess in all fairness. Okay, uh, we have the opportunity to leave now, but let's see if there's anything else we can craft here expansion area wise Not enough resources to upgrade wagon. Add a wagon, build a module. Again, the modules are not really helpful. Mechanical engine wagon platforms, O of two. So adding a wagon takes a spring and a bearing, it looks like. Two pistons and two ingots if I want to upgrade. What's it take to make a piston? Grease in an iron bar. Uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna do it. I've got a fair amount of iron and such. Make two of these bolts here. I got the uh, leather on me still. Yeah. Oh, I gotta use the uh, the slot machine. Almost forgot. Spend with the tokens. What do we got? Oh god dang! <laughs> Ooh, I got a thing! Weapon module, plus one. Aw, oh, it damaged me. That was lame. <laughs> I really don't want to know about your, your girlfriend's slot machine, thank you very much. Wait, it only takes those two items to upgrade your platform? I want this uh, release now to make it easier on myself right now. 
Well, gotta wait. It's either May 9th or May 10th. I thought it, the email they'd sent me said May 10th, but then I thought I saw May 9th online, so I, I don't even know now. Ooh, grappling hook. A uh, small backpack would be nice. We can hold more. I'm all a little leather, though, I think. I think I uh, used all the leather. Long range barrel. Wait, can I slap that on this thing? Rip brain barrel. How do I wait, change? Effect none. I guess I can't modify this thing. I gotta modify other weapons after I craft them. Does it require more resources running multiplayer versus solo? I'm honestly not sure. I, I know when you're making things, you end up having to split them between the two of you as you're doing stuff. Not so much like the uh, the crafting stations, uh, really, but like any of the consumables. Uh, I don't know otherwise, to be honest. Uh, I need grease. We gotta make some of this. Can't do that without leather. Oh, what's that? Need leather for the leather suit, too. We're gonna kill some more of those uh, leech things. Give me the grease. No long pig leather. <laughs> Oh my god, I knew about Redfall today. I still kind of want to play Redfall, even though I've heard all kinds of bad things about it. I just, I don't really want to shell out like 70 bucks for it though, just to have a game that I don't like. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit torn. I, I, oh, charcoal. Unlocks a blueprint for charcoal. Hold on, I got chemicals here somewhere. We can, we can unlock that. I put the gun in here. Barrel mod. Sparkle unlocked. So, game asks if you have that. Yeah, I have to check and see whether I do or not. I was hoping to play it on PC though, because it'll run better than uh, than the Xbox Series X, I would think. <sighs> but it's uh, a little bit of the pricey side, you know. And I don't think I have. Uh... I don't even remember why I'm making this. What am I making this for? <laughs> I think it was a crafting that I needed the Oh, right, the, uh, the upgrade. Um, where are we here? So, adding a wagon or. No, upgrading is two pistons and two bars. I, I need more of the stuff. Put that away. So, I'm gonna need another one of these. Wait, what's this? Components? Charcoal. Huh. All right. So I need another one of these. <laughs> Playing on PC with Game Pass Ultimate. I had Game Pass Ultimate, I want to say like a year, year and a half ago, but then I found that I wasn't using it. So I was like, ah, oh, why even pay for this if I'm really not using it? Um... Uh, so I just sort of cancelled it, and now I kind of wish I hadn't, because there's been a couple things that have come out since, but... Does Hogwarts have a cure? Uh, I don't know. Can it be modded? Which, this game or something else? If you're talking about this game, I'm honestly not sure. I don't tend to mod things. Is it even worth the download? For which, um... Redfall? I don't know, it depends who you ask, I think. I have seen some people that were having fun playing it. Uh, other people who had nothing positive to say about it, so, you know, I think, uh, it sort of depends on who you ask. At least to some degree. I mean, the same seems true of most games, but it's just like if it's more heavily weighted in favor of the people who don't like it, then that does kind of speak volumes a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
People having fun are less demanding ones, they'll accept anything. Maybe, maybe, or maybe they're just... They didn't have much expectation going into it, and they were just, like, having fun with, with it for what it was. Uh, I would argue that it's probably also the people who didn't shell out full price for it. <laughs> that seems like a probability, anyway. What are these... I don't understand what these are about. What is this? Platform, hold the disassemble. Oh, I don't want that. Instructions? No. Alright, whatever. We, uh, we can upgrade the wagon again. Boom! Yeah, look how big this thing's getting. <laughs> I don't think I have wood, actually, right now. Oh, well, we got three. It's probably not enough to do a lot. Um... Let's get this underway. Let it rip. Most people hated Fallout 76 too. Yeah, this is true. But a few games that on release have caught a lot of flack. I mean, even the Star Wars Jedi Survivor got a lot of negative press. But not because people didn't like the game. It was because that so many people were having performance problems with it. So I guess that's a bit of a different story. But oh, new note found. Great bandages on workbench two. Or O2. Uh, I gotta make two work, two band images. Which means I gotta find, I gotta get more leather, which means I gotta uh -huh. murder more things. I want to warn you about something. Aside from the nasty but harmless creatures, there are other, let's just say, hungry monsters. I don't hear a John's noise. Ah! Back off, get your own sandwich. The quest for the monster. Fight off the shark. Well, that's great. What if the shark can attack me through objects? Can I, like, play hide-and-seek around things? If I can kill the shark, I'll get some leather off it, so I guess that would be alright. We should let it get closer. Maybe a bad idea, but I'm not really getting good shots on it from wherever way out there. Yoo hoo, Sharky, where are you? Oh, I guess I did fight it off. I didn't get to kill it though. Oh, come on. I gotta get this wood. Need wood. Oh, we need leather too. Thank you. I like you. Thank you very much. Evil shark. Dang it. Guy's gonna be a son of a gun, just you watch. I'm thinking to drop any leather? No leather. Oh, that's an adorable creature. Yeah, we gotta kill all the cute creatures. That's how this works. Ooh, God dang, what the heck was that? That's right, get bent, you stupid shark thing. Oh, I need to, need to reverse my train here.
backed it right into the, uh, the stopping thing. I don't think it does any damage, at least, but... It really stopped my progress backwards. Like the new version of OBS built in YouTube comments area. What's this now? There's a built in YouTube comment section in OBS? Maybe I didn't upgrade to it lately. I've only went some bait in a long line to attack to show. Yeah, like some bait that looks remarkably like a fox. Is that what we're talking about here? I feel like that's what we're talking about. Oh, that's a giant bone. Oh, well, that's a weird way to reload. Back off, shark. Yoink! Do we have three arms there when reloading? Uh, I actually didn't notice. Maybe. <laughs> Anything's possible, I guess, with this game. Will not go away. All right, floor's done at least. Looks like a baseball bat with the bone up there. If you say so. Well, it doesn't got me now. Oh no no no! Get out of there. I don't know how much life this thing has left on it. I, I need it to get closer. Oh god, it's still got a lot. Because I wanted to. If, I'm, if it's gonna die, I want it to die near my train so I can at least grab the. Uh, grab the leather off of it. Uh, okay, there was something I was gonna make that required leather, and I don't remember what it was now. Oh, this stuff. Oh, right, it was this backpack thing. Um, get that going. Flawless shooting as usual. Dang it. Copper wire. Did I make the new suit? Not yet. I need more leather for it first. It, uh, I need four leather pieces to make the new suit. Uh, I'm going to use two leather now to unlock the backpack. It's gonna take forever to kill that shark thing. It keeps running away. I don't know why. It's just because I'm shooting at it. Backpack does not expand your inventory. Well, what does it do? What's the point of giving me a backpack if I can't expand my inventory? I think it's such a nuisance.
keep shooting it from so far away. Well, I'm just pecking away at it. It's still got a lot of life, so whatever damage I can do to it. In the meantime, it's fine by me. More leather. This thing didn't even give me a uh, letter that time. Oh, jeez. Back here. Two bandages. Oh, maybe that's what I was trying to make. Wait a minute. Am I inventory full? Yes, it is. Crap. Okay, research in the backpack. So I need two leather to make the uh, the bandages. So I've got that. What else do I need for the bandages? I gotta have this stuff here. So I'll make a couple of those. The way on the sharks makes them the scaredy cats. Yeah, they definitely do a good job of running away. <laughs> as soon as you do any damage to them, they just immediately turn and run. Oh, two for one. It's gonna die soon. <laughs> when it does, I'm taking his leather, baby. Used to be hyper aggressive. Yeah, I guess uh, they've really toned that down. Or maybe the, like the, this, like the initial encounter, will be like more toned down, but then later on it gets more aggressive. Yeah, I know the headshot's two fifty. Come on, jerk. A lot of supplies in here. What's going on? This world feels more barren than the others. You know, even though they were all kind of barren. Shouldn't kill him up there. He's uh, gotta be getting low on life now. Need to come in closer. Come closer, shark. Come closer. Pew. This would be worse than the raft shark. Well, either, I guess the one thing, though, is when they're aggressively coming at you, at least you get a chance to kill them a little more quickly. Like, this thing's fooling around so much, I'm not even going to get a chance to kill it. Oh, crap. Shot me a box. Oh, it's healing, too. That's great. 
Perfect. <laughs> that thing's not dying anytime soon. Uh, we need to smelt some more metal, I guess. It's possible there's more than one shark, but I don't think there is. I think it's just the one. Some giant rib cage. Yeah, well, there was a giant, some giant femurs and stuff back there. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's definitely a thing. They flew through my ship. That was weird. Oh, uh, okay, okay, my inventory's full again. What can we put away? Uh, this can go away. So put that away. I don't know if I should walk around with this armor plate on. I guess I can leave that behind for now. So I don't really need it, like, immediately. I'll give him my two bandages I need. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> the sound of that thing going off always freaks me out. I don't know why. Sounds like an explosion. Shark, I can't kill it if it won't stay around long enough for me to actually shoot it. I've depleted all my leather again. Last. Use bandages. Well, what do I want to use them for? Alright. Just gotta do it for the quest. Tutorial or whatever. Place any weapon module on the table. How do I do that? I've got this barrel in here, but so there's a long range barrel of Mantis, but I, I think that might be for a different type of gun. Yeah. What about if I go in here? Barrel. Oh, long range barrel Mantis. There we go. Oh, wait, this is for building a gun altogether. Ed Bob with a 17 month member message. Choo choo! 17 months! Thanks, Ed Bob. Appreciate the 17 months of support. Greatly appreciated. Okay, so that's for building a gun. I don't, uh. I don't know where to go. Oh. Is the item in my inventory now? Wait, what happened there? Long range barrel enhance. Okay, I don't know what happened. Literally no idea what I did, but I turned my barrel into something else. <laughs> Create barrel. Long range barrel enhancer. I do not know what I'm doing here. So I created one of these, but I don't think I can put it on my gun. Run, you little shark dude. That gun will kill a shark, yeah, but only if it stays around long enough for me to actually shoot the darn thing. It keeps running away on me. I guess I can't modify this thing. Not sure this revolver. I don't think it is, but I had a different barrel. It was like a mantis thing, and now I've got this. So I guess I. Hey, hey, back off! 
Now he's aggressive. Jerk was attacking my freaking train. Let's get this thing moving again. God dang. I think I haven't built here yet. So we got the racks, uh, armory, lab, kitchen, workbench, smelter. There, I haven't done yet. Get that wood. Get that sweet, sweet wood. See hammer. Oh, I didn't want to exit. Um. Oh, there we go. Deconstruct. Is there not like a repair option? I guess maybe it didn't really do much damage, if any at all. I guess that's fine. Place any weapon module on the table. Hmm. Thank you. The war's hammer. I don't think we have the war's hammer, just the regular one. <laughs> Our hammer doesn't produce lightning. Yeah, modules from killing people. If you get enough, you can build a gun, but you can also get them to drop guns. Yeah, well, I, um... Oh, shoot. I passed by that thing. Um... I had gotten a, a gun module when I uh, killed somebody on the one little island thing, but I guess it wasn't for the for the revolver, and then I accidentally turned it into something else. <laughs> like I swapped it into some other barrel. I don't know how I did it, but oh, that's handy. Look, it's it's getting all its health back. Rotten shark. Give me that. Ah. things. Slow down so I can kill you. Use your tether to lasso it. Brilliant. God. That's like a hit and run artist. Little jerk. Does he know who we are? Oh, I can grow our, uh, void plant. Source of organics. Requirements record seeds. Alright, so I don't have either of those seeds. Interesting. For a moment, I thought I could actually just plant the organics and produce organics. Which would be kind of weird, but I guess, uh, it's not a thing we can do. Magger. Likely to come out if I'm out on my tether, I wonder. Should 
Shark didn't attack it? No, it's been attacking the train instead. I don't know. It's weird. Very weird. Right, I need to research this thing. Uh, let's do a couple stuff on here. I need springs. They'll definitely attack you more. So, I kind of want him to come back, so I don't want to shoot him. Not cooperating, you know? None of space. Oh, crap. Get all the wood we can get our hands on. I keep running out of it. Jerk. All right, I got the spring. I need bolts and a copper wire. Yeah, go on. I think upgrading the only upgrading the gun's the only way to kill the shark. Well, or I just have to get it to stay around long enough for me to shoot it a whole lot. Because <laughs> it's healing as it when it runs off on me, and that's that's not so great. Not so great at all. Space again. Dang it. What if I get it down to like a certain life total if it will go more aggressive and just go for the gusto? I need uh, I need another storage box. Good night, James. Oh, just barely. Give me enough for my next research unlock. Fancy grapple hook thing. Just want Fox to meet whatever that was. Uh, what? What's his name? Surprised the ad companies haven't contacted you with your potato aim. Definitely a gold mine. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Flawless aim. I never miss. Never miss. Plus, this, in this game, I have unlimited ammo, so, you know, it's, it's even less worth their time to contact me. Oh, the big skeleton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. would rather not run into one of those guys. Oh, get me the heck! Almost lost. Oh, wait. Get out of there. Let 
It gives me three leather. One more leather and I can make that, uh... Um... Make that suit or whatever. Okay, so this gives me the grapple unlock. Oh, shoot. Thought I had another bar left. Nope. Uh, these ones I think I went over copper. Yeah, I can go there. Need more iron. Oh, it's full of chemicals. Hey, hey, jerk! Stupid shark? God dang. Uh, okay, I've got the bar I need, so now I can finally do this thing. I'm gonna get my hands on some more leather, man. Don't mess with he- <laughs> Fox doesn't mess what he's aiming at, he just doesn't know what he's aiming at most of the time. That's right, exactly. It's not that I can't hit a target, it's that I don't know what the target is. Pain ignorance. That's what I learned. You don't know something? Just pretend. Uh, Crusher. Unlocks the extraction of lump of ice, lump of coal. Pressing. Makes coal briquette. Unlocks a water biden. Unlocks the Ram 1. Hmm. Ram 1, eh? Oh my god, this has got to be more than one shark. Ooh, headshot. <laughs> Need a whole bunch more of these iron bars. Uh, I don't have them right now. I stash all my iron. There it is. Litter rip. Oh shoot! I gotta get food in me too here. Welcome to the Catch Fox stream! Hooray! Sorry for the intro story. Have you noticed any difference from when you play, uh, played previously? Um, not a lot, I don't think. Someone was saying the storage chest before only had uh, three spots in them, where now they have four. Um, the graphics look slightly cleaner, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played, so I might just be misremembering. I do have a memory like a goldfish after all. Uh, there's supposed to be some additional stuff that we can craft that, uh, that I didn't have before. Um, I'm not sure entirely what it consists of, but... Okay, I need, uh, bolts and spring. You know what, I really should probably eat something, too. I thought before you had to have both food and water, but, um... I might be mistaken there too. Now you just like consume the one thing, but food or water, they both do the same thing. Uh, they've got these plants on these rocks now too that do stuff. So there's like these little plant type things. This one here where it's got the swirly in front of it, it like pushes you ahead. And there's other ones that uh, that blow up. They don't damage you, but they knock you flying kind of thing. Oh crap. The shark is less aggressive. <laughs> it's kind of a nuisance right now. Give me leather. 
That's not leather. Dang it. Um, what was I making? Bolts and springs. I thought I had one of those in progress already. Maybe I forgot to start it. Black trains. Hey, Polani, how's it going? Well, this is sort of a train. It's a train in, uh, it's a train in some weird void space kind of thing. I have tracks, though, so I guess it's still a train. This is like the, uh, the void space version of Raft, almost. I need that. Stop! Stop! Give me that leather, yes. Okay, that gets me the four pieces of leather so I can finally make uh, that fancy suit. Uh, equipment. I need two bolts for that, though. Speaking of bolts, I guess I'll make three bolts. Come on. The jerk was just hanging out there. Right now it's more of a hand trolley. Yeah, it's not really much of a train, I guess. It really is more of a hand trolley. <laughs> Later on, it, it, you can't actually make it into a bigger train, I guess, but we're not at that point yet. Many things left to unlock, I think. Stupid shark. Well, I fished a very hard level for the progress I've gotten in industry. Three failures and one success. I do not know that game. Okay, one leather suit in progress. Unlock this ram for the front of my quote unquote train slash handcar thing. Part is when I'm shooting this shark, it scares these things so they don't swim by my craft close enough that I can steal their stuff by murdering them. Can we name the shark Santa's little helper? <laughs> Satan's little helper? What now? Slow reload. Rotten thing. Uh, okay, uh, all right, so I got my leather suit. There we go. I don't know what that does for me. Armor cape plate capacity one. Okay, so now. Now I take this. What's that do for me? It says I have a plate capacity of one. It allows you to attach armor plate. Attach armor plates to itself. Oh wait. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. So I've got one armor plate on me right now. Uh, how many more of those? I got... Make some more of these bars. I'd like to get like full armor going here. I think it's like four armor to get a max max tail, right? Yeah, Schro was the Schrodinger's fox? Is that what we're going on here about now? <laughs> I exist both in the state of being alive and dead. Just nobody opened the box, okay? Ah! Potato aim! Where'd he go? Ooh, allergies. A little word. Jerk. Rapper just popped in to say hi to everyone and Crypto Fox. Hey, James. Work. Okay. Let's make the rest of those consumable plates there. No, it's not consumables. Equipment? Consumables? There they are. That'll get me tripled up armor plates. Oh, wait. Oh, that was stupid. The, the suit that I'm wearing actually. Oh, it has capacity for one. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, well, I'll put them in storage anyway. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Oh, we're coming up to the next gate. Um, uh, what else can I research? The Crusher. Um, so I'm gonna need a bunch more, a bunch more iron. More iron. Uh, okay, let's make uh, some more water too. I got all kinds of this stuff, I think. We get good and hydrated. Once they change the story, you're still a scientist who's running away from uh, debt into the void with a the tram. They did change the story. So, like, at the beginning, it goes into this big thing about being an engineer and getting lost in the just, like, frozen wilderness kind of thing. And then you find this house and go through the door and lo and behold, there's this train in there for some reason. It's kind of a really weird story at the beginning now. Uh, there's a little bit more of a tutorial component to it at the beginning, too, where there's, like, uh, some, some guy talking you through some stuff. Um, I don't remember being as extensive before. It seems like they might have expanded on that a little bit. Check train for damage? How do I check it for damage? I'm incompetent. Because the shark has attacked a couple times, but when I swapped over to the hammer thing, it, uh... Oops. Well, I um, when I swapped it to the hammer, it didn't, uh... wasn't giving me an option to repair anything, so I sort of assumed that there wasn't damage, but I don't, I don't really know. Old School Super Chat, are you gonna play, uh, Expanse, a Telltale series? Uh, I haven't decided. I, I don't tend to play a lot of really story-oriented things. I do every once in a while. Um, the challenge is that I often don't get the opportunity to get the earliest content out for them, and most people, once they see the story, they're not super interested in watching someone else play the identical story. Um, so I'm not sure. Maybe. 
Because it sort of depends on what kind of access I get to it if I, uh... If I can get on it, like, right away or not. Most of the games I play tend to be more open-ended, so that the play experience is a little different from person to person. Updated ground to get a new brood... A new brood mother? And what was wrong with the old brood mother? She was a pain in the butt as it was. Okay, I don't remember what I was doing. Uh, all oh right. Stuff. Oh, shoot. Put the armor plates in here. Piston and bolts. I need to make grease, and then uh, grease requires this stuff. Well, let's put this thing on hold for a moment. If it inspired me, I'm gonna write a simple one shot RPG uh, off this game for my nephews. Oh, nice. It's kind of a fun, neat little game. Like, I kind of wish they did more with the story behind it, to be honest. Uh, a little bit more context about why you're here and what's going on and what you're trying to accomplish. Maybe there'll be more that's revealed as we go along through the game, though. I, I haven't played very deeply into it. Yeah, this I need to turn into grease. I'm gonna play it, but I have every uh, piece of Expanse-related products ever produced. Oh, really? I've seen the series, but I haven't, like, read the stories or anything. I don't have any of the, like, content related to it. I enjoyed the series. For what it's worth. I mean, I don't know. Like, oftentimes when something's based off written material, usually the written material's better, but... I have not read it. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, okay. Oh, piston, right. Yeah, well, that, get that going. Which will let me unlock this thing. Wow, I worked on a couple seasons of that show. Of which? Of The Expanse? New game from Fox is one where he dies all the time. <laughs> that depends on the game. Depends very much on the game. But yes, there are definitely games that I die all the time in. <laughs> Do you want to fight about it? It's part of my charm and appeal, at least that's what I tell myself. I uh, need that. So we can go in here and grab this. Researching water button. That leaves me with this thing to make. Oh. I need to smelt more iron. Measly 2. I've got more iron than that around. Or more metal, anyway, rather. Okay, this can go back into here. This can go in here. Wait, what? Charm and appeal? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I didn't say it was traditional charm and appeal. <laughs> It's the kind of charm and appeal you just sort of like you have to tilt your head sideways a little bit and squint. Then it starts to come into focus, you know? That kind of charm and appeal, not, not the traditional type. It's a certain je ne sais quoi. Yeah, out of focus, exactly. <laughs> no, squinting, whatever. Fine. You know what I mean. Two years. Uh, loop. Get those going. Genesis, why? I don't know what that is. 
Once you get a grappling hook, it becomes much easier to get the items you need. Uh, I have the grappling hook. I just haven't crafted one. I, I have it unlocked in the research at, at any rate. Um, I guess I, I would craft that here on this workbench. Doo -doo, under tools. Grappling hook. Short range and low speed, but better than nothing. Very dark in here. I don't like it. I gotta watch out, these guys might be might be violent people here again. Where did I have all that violent people at? We've got all this ammo for guns that I don't even have. It's great. Fully loaded on on unusable ammo. Alright, there's the uh this is the same layout as the last item. Uh, last island. I, I wonder if it's because I didn't uh, I didn't progress enough to get a, a higher tier island or something. Like same exact same layouts of everything too. Death is conspicuously absent currently. Yeah. Well, I haven't run into serious challenges just yet. Only minor ones. Oh, all right. It's not entirely the same. There is a basketball here. Shooting the ball does nothing. They got, like, a gym here and everything? Alright. Guess when you're stuck out in the void, there's not, uh, not much more to do than get swole, I guess. Get swole and shoot, shoot some basketball. So it's slightly different from the last island. Same basic layout, but different openings and such. Oh god dang, there's snipers! Stop sniping me, bro! I got not I think I knocked one of them down. Around the other way. Most of the barrels of the station are for booze. They do more, but yeah. All right, fair enough. Basketball and booze, I guess. Killed somebody. He's running! It's way back there! Uh. Oh, down. I just them to keep their heads poked up enough I can shoot them. Reload! Did I get them all? Oh my god. Pick up this stupid thing. There's a barrel right there. I can't get my hands on it. There we go. Coin. <laughs> the token was stuck in the... in the wall there. You guys have a really interesting way. So one of them is a revolver mod, you said? Flexible grip for the hustler. Uh, basic barrel Henry. I don't know. I'm fully... Oh, crap. I gotta, I gotta go drop some stuff off of my train. I kinda came here with a bit of, bit of stuff in my inventory. 
Hey, Cam, how you doing? Finally, you can mod his gun. All right, let's find out. Change. How do I mod it? Grip. There we go. Hustler grip. I don't know what it does for me. I didn't really watch. Uh. So handling is one. If I go to this, then handling goes to point five. Oh, good. I got worse grip. <laughs> it's doing it. That's all it did. I gave myself worse grip. All right, good. Good times. If I put this barrel on, it's basic handling is better, so let's do that. We'll go back to the basic grip on it. Okay, so I got that top quest thing there done at least. Um, let's put these mods in here. Maybe I can like build a weapon out of them or something later. Let's go in here. Alright, as long as we got room to, like, carry stuff. No matter what game it is, our inventory is always full. A problem in all games. Yeah, what can I say? I'm a horrible pack rat in games. Like, I pick up far too many things. Playing Fallout for me is brutal because there's just... There's so many useless pieces of junk you can pick up. I just, I'm forever overloaded. <laughs> Can't help myself. I'm like some sort of weird video game kleptomaniac. Not my fault. Must be how my mother raised me. Here. Another one of those crazy anvils over there. How many tokens did I get? Two. Only two shots at the slot machine. Hey, it's worse about inventory. Watch them carry a stone spear into the mistlands. Oh, really? <laughs> potato aim. It was the battle of the potatoes. My potatoes turned out to be better. I had mashed potatoes. Was there not was there not a door I could go in here anywhere to get into this building? Did I overlook it somewhere? Curly fries? <laughs> Oh, okay, so this one doesn't have a, an interior. I guess it's not entirely the same island layout. Unless I missed something somewhere. Mm, curly fries means more service for ketchup. Mm. Yummy. All right. Progress, baby. Progress. Uh, I want to make that backpack still. So I need one bearing, one piston. I made more of these. I need to make uh, more grease. So we can make that. And then I'm sure, probably going to need grease for the bearing too, right? Yeah, grease and an iron bar. So I'd actually need two grease. Suddenly mm -hmm. visions curly fries poutine. Now oh, that'd be interesting. They should totally copy your train from when you saw the other train and put it on the, the left of the new train in some future track. It was with you. It was you the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> Try not to hurt my brain, please. It's uh, it's too fragile. Can't take these kinds of weirdnesses. Weirdness eye. Uh, this backpack, I need more leather for. Crap. Stupid leather. Let's have a think about the leather. I definitely don't have more leather.
Definitely no leather. Uh, I guess while this is, uh, while I'm doing this stuff here, I'll go and hit the slot machine, too. Big money, no whammy. Oh, no, you don't. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I got fooled twice. Ooh, candy. Another token, that's it. Congratulations, you won a free spin, you jerks. That's not winning. What's this piggy bang? Oh, I see you can get weapon parts out of here. There's seeds. Stupid bombs. All right. Well, we didn't exactly have good luck on the token spinning. It'd be worse, I guess. Not sure how, but I'm sure somehow. You've had token feedback loops on those things before. Well, where it just keeps giving you token after token. Uh, what? Oh. So you keep playing until you get a bomb? I already had a bomb. It dropped on the ground, but I moved out of the way of it so it wouldn't blow me up. It seemed like the thing to do, you know? Alright, what can I build here now? So, we've got uh, this crusher thing. Crushes lumps of resources into small pieces. I don't really know what exactly what that process is. Hopefully nothing weird. Weird. Uh, I need two more gear. Oh, I, I made the two gears. Or the, no, I used the two gears already for the unlock, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, two gears. I'm gonna have to smelt more metal, so let's grab some of this. A little of this, a little of that. Get those going. Now, what else did I need for that thing? Wesley Crasher. Weasley Crusher. There we go. Uh, a bolt, and then a. And then I'm gonna need another one of those pistons. And our next unlock in here, ooh, steam engine, unlocks the steam engine. Oh yeah, we gotta get ourselves some of that. There's a fake bomb, no need to dodge next time, yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. What happened here? I got some better fuel. I'm burning all this wood in here, and it's not really very long lasting, you know? Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So I should have enough to make the crusher now. Is that the, wow, this thing's huge, man. Uh, should we stick it at the back of the train somewhere? <laughs> I was not really expecting the size of this thing. Okay, that's the thing. What's this do exactly? Water body, a large vessel filled with water. So crushing the, oh wait, is this for crushing crafted things? Coal crushing. Crushes a block of coal into small pieces. Block of ice. Coal briquette. Compressed processed coal. Alright. I don't know what I can do with that stuff yet. I haven't gotten coal or any of those other big chunks they're talking about. Do a good fox, guys. I watched play you, uh, the earlier version. It took three episodes to get where you are now. Well, I did play this before with, uh, with my buddy Nate. And I had tried out the demo sometime before that. So it's not completely... It wasn't like a completely foreign experience for me. I've kind of been trying to like rush through the uh, um, the unlocking of things through research as much as I could. Um, armoring, garden, lab, kitchen. So I, I did a research thing for this up uh, the ram. Oh, it did, I did upgrade the ram. I think. 
Actually, I can't tell. I thought I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what? The random thing is probably in here now that I unlocked it. If I had to guess. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so... Two springs and two bolts to get the fancy ram on the front of my train. I'm gonna ram them! Um... I need more of this smelted metal stuff. Springs acquired. Two bolts. You should call the Crusher Wesley. <laughs> it's Weasley Crasher. There's an Easter egg at the bottom of the Crusher Hop inside. <laughs> Look, we've got we've got concentrated compressed fox. Who knew? Oh, there's a thing right here. Almost left stuff behind. Am I even human? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. It seems like we're human. I mean, based on the context of how we started in the game, I guess. What's the RAM for? I have literally no idea, but I'm putting it on there because it's a big RAM. <laughs> I'm gonna assume we'll be able, we'll be able to like, bash something with it or something. I don't know. Do do do. RAM one allows ramming obstacles. Low durability. Oh, so if I ram obstacles, that means. It can break, I guess. Instructions. None of these are doable for anything. Transmission handle. All right. I got a big, uh, I got a big ram thing in the front of my little train car now. It's got low durability, but now I can smack stuff with it. Let's get out of here. Grab the grappling hook that used uh, the materials to avoid. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I should get the grappling hook made. Um, I just need a copper wire, actually. I think I have copper bars already made, too. I do. Alright. Uh, copper wire. Isn't that called a cattle catcher? It, it was basically, like... In, on a real train, but there's not exactly too many space cows that I've seen out here. <laughs> I suppose it's possible, but I haven't seen any any cows in the void. It's not used, no, not not very used on people now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, baby. Okay, so slot one is my fancy grappling hook now. Short range and low speed, but better than nothing. Okay, so I've got that. Let's put it this way. Don't need that. I need leather for this. What about in here? So this I need uh, two more of the copper wires. I've got that copper ready. Four of the gears. I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time having enough iron, I think. So this is gonna be another six bars of iron. So, two bolts, four gears. I'm not picking on me right now. I think the four gears, I guess. The space shark is kind of like a space manatee, aka sea cow. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but it, it doesn't really, like, swim up in front of my, uh, my little train where I can run it over. Create an ammo box on the workbench. Why? I'm already fully loaded on ammo. Consumables. This is what your weapon fires with. Yeah, thanks. I don't even need to make that. I've got I'm fully loaded on ammo right now. Okay. 
Okay, so this is going to need pistons, which means I better make uh, some more grease. Oh, I got chemicals. Uh oh. Alright, <laughs> I guess we're not making that right now. Dang it. I don't have any grease. Downright greaseless. Oh, jeez, not that either. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh my god. Whatever, give me that. <laughs> Can't do anything right here. There. Two bolts are done. So we're gonna get more chemicals, otherwise we can't make any... I'm gonna make any more grease. Um, it is after midnight my time though, and I have to work in the morning, so I'm gonna call it for tonight. Seems like a good place to stop anyway, since we've already got this uh, outpost cleared. That we can head off into the void next time. Uh, I am gonna play more of this. The uh, again, the, this version of uh, a void trend comes out on Steam on either May 9th or 10th. Hold on, let me pull it up because I, I thought it said May 10th in the email they had sent me, but so let me just double check. May 9th. So May 9th this comes out. If you want to play it yourself, you can get it on Steam. It is available right now also on the Epic Game Store, but uh if you're if you've been waiting for it to be on Steam, it will be coming out on May 9th. It's supposed to be a pretty big update with some new chapter stuff, bit of a, of a change in story, some additional craftables and that sort of thing. Um so far so good. Still slow paced relative to uh, uh some of the other games I've played. Um, which is sort of what Nate and I had found last time, but we did get some decent progress to build up our little train here. That's not too bad anyway. But uh, thanks so much everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.